Welcome to Pilates for PSWs. My name is Vera. I'm a health and wellness instructor from Stonebridge Community Services, and that means my job today is to keep you moving and motivated on the mat. Today we're here at the Port Stanley Fitness Center with a full body workout. And today I'm going to use a ball. If you don't have a ball nearby, don't worry, grab yourself a small pillow or cushion. That will work. We're going to start by lying down on the back with the ball or cushion between the knees. And then when you're ready, let's bring our arms all the way up to the ceiling. Imagine somebody's got a hold of your wrist, up, up, up. And then they let go and push your shoulders into the floor. And then let your arms just open all the way up and press the arms into the floor. And relax, and press, and relax, and press. And now keep your hands as close to the floor as you're comfortable, lifting them if you need to. Let your arms start to come overhead. As you raise overhead, the little baby finger comes up towards the ceiling, and then open wide to the side. And up, so just making that little snow angel, baby fingers to the ceiling, and down. And one more time, up. And then when we come down, we're going to make that little circle, like we're taking our shirt off, up and around. And two, and one, and three, and around. And one more time, four. And then hands down to the side. And just slide the hands down towards the feet, widen it through the shoulders and press the shoulders onto the mat. And then walk the feet in a little bit closer to your hands. Start by lengthening your hands and pressing gently into the floor. And then engage the abs. And then a little squeeze of that ball or cushion. And then as you squeeze the cushion, think of pulling right up through the pelvic floor and connecting with those low abs. And relax. Big breath in, right into the back of the rib cage. And then exhale, inner thighs, pelvic floor, engage, squeeze. So you're squeezing the ball and relax. And just two more times, big breath in through the back of the ribs. Exhale, squeeze in your thighs, pull right up through the pelvic floor, relax the neck and shoulders, and relax. And one more time, big breath in. Try to fill up the lungs and then empty the lungs out with that big blow, squeeze in your thighs, engage your lower abs, and relax. And now we're going to start by extending one leg out. So we're just going to reach that one leg out, press into the heel, and tap it down. And two, so the outside of the quad tends to be a little bit stronger than the inside of the quad. Three. And that can mess with the way your kneecap moves up and down. So this is a nice little exercise to just wake up those inner quad muscles. Four, let's go one more. And five, perfect. Lower that leg down, try to stay even through the back of the hips as you extend through the leg and down. And two, and down. And three, and down, just two more. Four, and down, and one more time, we're almost there, five, and down, perfect. If you do need to adjust your ball and cushion, feel free, sometimes they slide around. Walk those feet in towards the hands, press down into the hands, squeeze the glutes, and up into that bridge position we go. Trying to stay even through the back of your shoulders. Hold it there and keep breathing. Squeeze the ball, squeeze the glutes, energy in the toes. Four and three and two and down. Big breath in through the back of the ribs to prepare. 
Exhale, squeeze in your thighs, pull up through the pelvic floor, lift the hips, lengthen out like you're trying to push the knee into the wall, way out in front. Four, and three, and two, and down. Let's do that again. Squeeze glutes, lift the hips, hold it there, energy in the toes, press into the hands, lengthen the arms, four, and three, Keep breathing, two, and down. Two to go, squeeze glutes, inner thighs, lift and lengthen. Four, and three, and two, and down. One more time, squeeze, lift, and hold. Four, and three, and two, and down. Perfect. From here we're going to let the knees float up and just give it a little shake. Perfect. We're going to do something here called wagging the tail. So we're going to bring arms behind the head, press the elbows into the floor, wide out through the chest. Make sure your knees are in far enough so that your bottom ribs are nice and flat on the floor. We're going to let the toes stay together, and then as your feet come over to your left side, we're going to reach down and tap them, and left, and two. So really working that oblique, and three, and release, and four, and release. One more, five, perfect. Same thing on the other side. Feet to hands, hands to feet, five, and four, and three, and two, and very last one. Well done. Let's hold on to the knees. If your knees are getting tired here, you can hold on and just draw those little circles. If you're okay, you feel okay to put your hands down, same movement. Three, and two, and pause and reverse. Three, and two, and very last one. Well done, let's bring our arms out to the side. It's gonna be a little easier if your palms down, you'll have something to press into, a little harder if the palms are up. We're going to press into the floor and lengthen through the arms. And now let your knees fall to the left. If you need to put your feet on the floor, if you're getting tired of holding your legs up, that's definitely an option. Let your knees go far enough that you're challenged, but not far enough that that opposite shoulder comes off the mat. Big breath in. Try to keep your left shoulder down as you roll to the right. Perfect. Big breath in, up and over, just as far as you can go without lifting the shoulder. Even if you could put your knees down, you don't want to because you want to keep that core engaged and awake. Exhale, hold. Big breath in through the nose, up and over to the other side. And exhale, hold. Big breath in, up and over. We're almost there. Exhale, hold. Good job. Very last time. Big breath into the back of the ribs. Exhale, roll. Shoulders are flat as we hold and exhale. And then back to the center. Well done. From here, we're just going to bring the arms down to the side, cross the ankles, and let that knee go towards your nose. So just a very slight lift of that tailbone. And three, and four, and five, and six. Perfect. Uncross the ankles, point the toes, and now your choice. If it's uncomfortable to put your hands behind your back, you can keep them out here. If it's okay, we'll put our hands back here for a little extra feedback. And now we want to make sure the knees are in far enough towards your nose that you can feel some pressure against your hands. 
And now the goal is to point the toes and keep that pressure on your hands as we start to lower the knees down, like you're dipping your toes down towards the mat. As soon as you find that you can't push the back against your hands, that's where you stop. So it's not about touching the floor, it's about finding where you can go or your stabilization threshold where you can lower without your back changing. As soon as your back changes, please put strain on that back. So make sure your back stays nice and flat. Inhale to prepare, exhale, start to lower it down, and then inhale up, exhale, hold. Good job. So again, just working within that range of motion that's okay for you. If anyone wants to make it harder, longer levers are harder, so just finding that point that you feel like you can't connect, and then pulling the knees in, taking a rest, and coming up. Should be able to have nice pressure against the hands up here so then we find that point that you can go and in and let's go two more two and the very last one perfect good job give those legs a little shake let everything relax they've been working hard and then when you're ready, we're going to put the ball between the feet. Knees are wide now. Again, knees are in far enough so your back's nice and flat. Relax your neck. We're going to press onto that ball and close and open the knees. Now, if you can't get a good connection and you find that your ball or cushion's falling out, you can start without using it. It just adds a little enhancement and gives us a little more proprioception. So that's just a message to our brain to hold on because sometimes we forget. Okay, close and open. Three more, really working those glutes and hip muscles. Two more, last one, well done. And then from here, let's put the ball back between the knees and we're gonna roll up to seated. If you're not comfortable rolling up, feel free to roll to the side and just come up to a seated position. So for the prep, we're just going to let the knees pull away. And as we do, if it's okay to let your head come up. So with each one, we're going to get a little more momentum. And on the third one, we're going to give it some energy. So up we go. Shoulders are back, feet together. Perfect. Again, if you're not comfortable in this position, feel free to do this portion in a chair. And the next thing we're going to do is just bring our elbows right into the side and then try to just crush your, your rib cage with your elbows. So big squeeze. There's hardly any energy on the ball yet. It's all about just that squeezing of the rib cage and connecting and relax. Big breath in, nice and tall. Imagine you're being pulled up by a string as you squeeze and relax. Let's get two more. Big squeeze, elbows to ribs and relax. One more time. This time when we squeeze, we're going to squeeze elbows and then hands. Perfect. Let's do that again. Elbows connect from the shoulders and finish with the hands. Awesome, you have a choice. You can keep your hands here or stretch them out. Same idea, we wanna, first energy comes from under the arms like you're trying to hold on to a $100 bill under your arm and then follow through by pressing into the hands, trying to keep that nice straight posture. And now we're gonna add on to that. As we connect from under the arms into the hands, we're gonna connect the inner thighs and press together and relax. And one more time, press. And that's totally optional. If you're comfortable rolling back, feel free to add that on. If that bothers you in any way, stay up nice and tall. So let's look down towards the belly button. We're gonna start to roll the tailbone forward, lean back to wherever your comfort zone is, and then engaging your thighs, press into the ball, and up we go, nice and tall on the sitting bones. 
Let's start by initializing, curling the tailbone forward, leaning back to wherever that place is that's okay for you, and then press into the arms, squeeze inner thighs, press into the heels, and up we go. And tailbone first, body follows, and squeeze, and up. Good job. This time we're going to just come back like we did before, and then over to one side, but not quite touching, and then engaging your thighs, up we go. Big breath in, look over the other shoulder, and back, squeezing your thighs, and up, just two more, back, squeeze the ball, in your thighs, up we go, and one more, breath in, and up, perfect, we're going to lower ourselves down to the floor now, so look down, into the, or down towards your belly button, Tuck the tailbone, same movement, and just as slow as you can. So the low back's the first thing to touch the mat. Middle back, shoulders, head, anchor the rib cage as the arms come overhead. Good job, and up, and now roll over so that you're facing it. We can use the bowl or the cushion or the pillow as a as a cushion here. We're gonna start with the bottom leg bent, the top one nice and straight, and then just imagine you're pushing that heel right across the room. You'll see how you lengthen through the front of the hips and you might make a little room for a little mouse there. So abs are engaged here. And then the foot's nice and flat, so you can balance an invisible book on it and keep that leg long as you lift and lower, and two, and down, and three, and down, and four, and down, two more, five, and down, and six, and down. Perfect. From here we're going to lift up, reach the toe, drag it through the water to come down, press into the heel, lift, Reach and down. Heel comes up. Toe lengthens down. Heels up. Toes down. Heels and toes. Now just the toes reach right across the room. Five more. Four more. Long legs. Three. And two. We're almost there. All we have is three circles left. Three, and two, and pause and reverse. Three, and two. Last one. Give that leg a hug. It's been working hard. Nice work. From here, we're going to stack everything up for our clams. Feet are together. Hips facing forward as we open. Let's hold it there. Four and three and two and slow controlled release. And open. Four and three and two and down. One more time. Open. Four and three and two. Oh, give that guy a rest. The bottom leg's going to stretch out here. It's going to be a little easier if you put that top leg behind. It'll be a little more challenging if the leg's out in front. If you are out in front, try to open up into that figure four stretch. And then let your hips push forward so that the seam of your pants is are facing the ceiling. Nice flat foot as we use the inner thigh to lift that foot up and down. And two. And down. And three. And down. Two more. We're almost there. On the last one, we're going to hold it here. And point. And flex. And point. And flex. And point. And flex. Two more. Point. And flex. Let's hold the point and just three little circles. Three. And two. Let's pause and reverse. Three. And two. Very last one. Well done. Relax. And now when you're ready, let's
Let's just release and turn ourselves over to our hands and knees. So when you're ready, the knees are going to be directly underneath the hips. The hands directly under the shoulders. Let's tuck the toes in. And we're going to reach one leg all the way out. Good job. Point the toe. And then the opposite hand, we're going to just unweight it from the floor. It's really close to the floor, so we can use it for a little training wheel. With just a leg, three circles. Three, and two, and pause and reverse. Three, and two, and hold it here. Stretch it out. Four, three, two, and down. Good job. Let's give your hips a little wag. And then tail to the heel and up. So just working those hips through that full range of motion with rocking. And now back up strong. Imagine somebody's going to give you a push. They can't push you over. Everything's engaged. The opposite leg reaches out. Point the toe. Now, if it's your right leg out, it's your left hand that we're unweighting. And now that can be the exercise. If that's really hard, you don't want to add to it. If you're okay with it, try those three circles. Three, and two, and pause and reverse. Three, and two, and one. Good job. And then if it's okay, reach that hand as far away from your foot as you can. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Hold it there. Four, and three, and two. And down. Well done. Okay, we want to bring our head to the other side of the mat. That way you'll still be facing me and still be working that other hip. So we're going to start with the knees bent and then lengthen that top leg. Push it right across the room. Feel that lengthening through the front of your hips. Now try to keep that hips long as you lift and lower. And two, foot's nice and flat, three, and four, and five. So the foot and the knee are all facing forward. Perfect. Now the heel comes up, the toe reaches right across the room, all five of them, and down. Press into the heel, lengthen, toes, and down. Heels and toes. Heels and toes. Two more. Heels and toes. Last one. Heels and toes. Good job. Just the toes. Five and four and three. Almost there. Two and now just those three circles. Rest if you need to. Two and pause and reverse. Three Two. I want my mommy. And in. Good job. Give it a little squeeze. And then when you're ready, we're going to stack everything up. Hips facing forward. And then when you're ready, feet are together. We're just going to open and hold. Three, two, one, and down. Two more to go. Open and hold. You make those glutes do a lot of work. They're really important for protecting your back, especially this deep glute need. And down. One more time. Open, hold. Three, and two, and one. Well done. Give that guy a little massage if he needs it. We're going to reach that bottom leg out. Top leg, you decide, either behind or in front. Try and open it up if it's here. Going to reach into that bottom heel, knees facing the front as we lift from hand to thigh and lower. And two, and down. And three, and down. Two more. On the last arm, we're going to hold it here and flex and reach all five toes. Make those feet do some work and press into the heels and reach the toes. Heels and toes. Heels and toes. Just one more. Heels and toes. Reach into the toes and we're just going to lift 
and lower, and two, and down, and three, and down, we're almost there, four, and down, last one, and relax, nice job. From here, let's roll onto our backs. Shoulders are wide. And let's start by staying even through the back of the hips as we take our right leg and just cross or make that crossing motion like you're going to cross, but just touching the top of that knee. Two and three. Two more. Four. And on the last line, if it's okay to cross it over and then use the muscle to open that hip up. And then uh, it's even out through the back of the hip, so you can hang out right here and just open that hip. Or if it's okay for you, you can float that leg up and make the figure four a little more strong. Shoulders are wide, neck relaxed. Still working the muscles to open that hip up, holding it there. Four. Nice deep breaths. Breathe right into where you feel any sort of tension. And when you're ready, down. Last one, the other leg, we're just going to come up like we're crossing, touching the top of the knee, and down, and two, and down, and three, and we just have two more, four, and on the last one, all the way up, open, 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 your choice, you can stay right here, or you can float that bottom leg up. Breathe, 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 relax. Let that hip relax. Try to find your tension and breathe into it. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the workout today. I always appreciate you being here.